Hi guys, this is Snapcraft and welcome to yet another Starcraft commentary. We're finally at ASL Season 15 Round of 4, otherwise known as Semi-Finals. It's gonna be Match 1, played between Best and Mine. And those are some very, very exciting fans in the crowd for you guys, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, yeah, all of them are, of course, cheering for this amazing beast called Best here. Uh, I don't think anybody of them is cheering for mine. Just kidding. I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of mine lovers out there. Anyway, today is going to be a potential best of seven. Uh, first map, we're going to be seeing uh, Neil uh, Heartbreak Ridge here. Set two is going to be played on Vermeer. Vermeer is picked by mine, whereas Heartbreak Ridge is uh, picked by best. Uh, the third set is going to be on 70 freaking six. That's so exciting. Uh, and uh, set four is going to be on Sufit three. If the go, if the games go on, and we're really, uh, we're going to be having Dark Origin, uh, Dark Origin, excuse me, Retro, and then finally Nemesis. So that's the order of the map today. The first game uh, on Heartbreak Ridge, and right away we're going to be seeing Best coming out with a nice uh, 14 Nexus. We have been seeing a, a resurgence in 14 Nexus. It's been championed by Bisu sometime at the end of last year, I think, against Terran, where he just you know blindly go for 14 Nexus. Uh, looks like mine is going to be looking for some kind of potential cheese, but Best has got him completely fooled here. This SV, the timing is rather quite quite standard, but I don't know if it's going to be standard enough or fast enough rather to get Best off of his uh, initial you know, starting advantage here. Uh, by the way, let me just give you, so give you some inf information about these players. So Best, Korean's name is Do Jae Wook. Um, he is born in 1989, which makes him 34 years of age, very, very sexy age there. He used to play for SK Telecom in the old days. He is one of the best performer. I think he's the best performer in a KCM League last season, so 2023 season one. He's got a ridiculous something like uh, I don't know, 60% uh, win rate or something like that. Uh, mine, his Korean name is Park Sun Yoon, born 1991, so 32 years of age. He is also from the Casper days. He used to play for KT Rooster, KTF Rooster. He didn't play for ASTL, uh, so we don't have his information on that. Anyways, both of these guys are old, old, old as uh, uh, you know dinosaurs here. Except you know the real dinosaurs in the scene, as we know, is uh, is stork here. Looks like uh, mine's gone for a, a supply depot blockage just to stop these uh, pro from mining correctly. He might try to put out another supply depot block, but he doesn't. Uh, so let's see. Looks like some marines are coming out, and this forward uh, uh, factory. It's gonna give mine a little bit of a faster, uh, you know, vulture timing than usual. He takes out the first probe of the game. Zelot coming out as well as second gateway. If I was best, I would put a constant probe to harass that SCV because the SCV is gonna be very annoying later on. Uh, best need to put out another probe or make another Zelot. Looks like he's making making another pylon. Uh, and SCV train has begun here. And nice, nice SCV blocking. And this Zelot is gonna try to attack. The supply depot, which is a nice idea, but now the Marines are here. Let's see what is best reaction. He is not reacting just yet. He is gonna react now. He's gonna pull all of his probe back. Uh, and the probe is gonna be trying to come out. One probe dead already. Get on the high ground or something. The Dragoon comes out just in time. And now uh, we're gonna be having a Vulture and we got two Dragoons. So, so that's, that's quite good. Checks out the SCV building the bunker. It's a nice idea. But that SCV is not yet dead though. And now we see some SCV. Uh, nice, nice body blocking on the Dragoons. But the last of the Marine might be falling. I don't know. Looks like one of the Dragoons is gonna try to run out. But the second Vulture is here to support. And this Dragoon, we need to run for its life. Because two Vultures against one Dragoon is still very strong in favor of the Vulture here. And focus attention on the Dragoons here. Uh, Mine needs to pull out his weaker Vulture back. And he he doesn't, but Best is going to be losing his last Dragoon also, I think. Uh, more Marines coming out to help. Let's see if Best is going to be able to take him out. Looks like Best is to get out the last Vulture. Uh, and so now Best is going to be stuck inside his mine here. Uh, Mine's got up to a very, very nice start. He has yet to go for a second command, so he's going to wait for the first tank with Siege to come out. Uh, keep in mind, Best can still go on the high ground behind that area, uh, but it's going to take a lot of Dragoon shot to get outside. So for now, He's going to be just waiting in his home, waiting for the uh, Dragoon range first and then for the first shot of the game to come out to kind of do something about his uh, current dilemma here. Yeah, he goes on the high ground just to make sure that, well, I'm not so sure what he's making sure of, but maybe he just want to get a better footing 
Uh, so he can get on the low ground later. Four series is still hanging around the tank. It's about halfway run. Uh, Barak's getting lifted. And mine is still behind in... I mean, not in behind, but he's still not yet taking on the base. So let's see. Okay, mine's being placed. Good thing about Best is that Best knows exactly where the mines are located. Uh, so he's going to be able to start to shell uh, this bunker. But that tank's going to start to attack on the right side. One of the Dragoons going to get a little bit uh, weak. I think he, he pulls back the Dragoon. This bunker is a little bit, you know, in the red. I don't understand how that happened. Though. Now it looks like the one vulture is dead. Nice, nice mind pick up by Best. Our best is need to be kept careful because some, some of his dragoons are very weak here. Um, he's even afraid to come down the ramp because if he comes down the ramp, that tank's gonna be to shell him. Uh, and now he's completely boxed inside his main. So I don't know if that was a good, good idea for Best to, to do that or it's gonna be better just to hang out on the ramp here. Uh, looks like he's gonna be waiting for his Ragoon, but yeah, now mine, mine can just put on some kind of, you know, more supply block, but looks like mine's gonna be turning around. He says, I know you're gonna be coming out there with some shuttle, shuttle shenanigans, so I'm just gonna retreat home. Looks like a probe comes out first to make a nexus here. Let's see, Best is gonna be waiting for some minerals and mine doesn't know about that. Okay, good, good for uh, uh, Best to come out with a single Dragoon or so to block any kind of potential Vulture harassments uh, of that base. And now two Dragoons going to be coming out. Let's see, he's going to have to be careful because mines are kind of being placed around the area. A single mine gets placed here and he's a pick up and losing his first Dragoon already. So not losing but getting it damaged. Uh, but now we're going to be having four Dragoons on the field together with uh, a, a, an Observer. So it's going to start coming. This single Vulture is going to come out. Is it going to be able to check out the, 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 the prop here? Uh, it goes back. Uh, and not able to take out anything, but Dragoons need to be very, very careful. Why are there only three Dragoons here? I think one died or something like that. Um, yeah, but now he's gonna take out the last Vulture, so that's one fewer Vulture for best. One fewer problems to deal with. He still doesn't have a clear, you know, like way out of his base, man. He's still stuck inside his base. And now we only have the, the first Vulture I've seen, so best is gonna be slowly clearing his base, uh, his, 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 his real natural here. But for Dragoons, we see that tank siege has been completed as well as turret's line. So he's gonna turn, turn around uh, and just wait and to play from behind, I feel. He needs to be careful. Another mine is in this area. Best is gonna be super careful. At least that mine is gonna be providing vision for mine. So that's good. Mine's gonna be looking forward to har har harass the new base of Best at the four o'clock position with vultures with speed for now it's gonna be just vultures with mine no speed observer comes out to see okay we got three vultures here what is gonna be the reaction from best uh well he transferred his probes there for the time being so that that's good uh and dragoon's gonna be coming out to clear the middle area best is taken not yet okay but he needs to take another, another base so he does he takes another base at his natural so that's that's good vulture coming down towards the four o'clock position they're gonna be meeting meeting two pylons here so the game is going to reset a little bit during this time best 67 supply mine 58 so i would still put my finger on mine here he got off to a good start to try to delay what uh, best was doing and observer is going to try to not get picked up by the turrets but that's good he sees that armor is only coming up that means goliath won't be in store for sometimes uh and reaver can just stay on the outside to you know attack some uh, outer structures like some supply depots and stuff like vulture the speed had just completed two more times comes inside to try to you know you know have a little bit more uh, defensive uh, power here for uh, for mine one good thing for best is that he knows his enemy doesn't have a starport uh, or at least not any starport that he can visibly see so he's gonna be feeling safe just to expand and not have to worry about you know vulture drops and something ah dragoon's gonna get in oh my god another care careless mistake i guess just bad luck by best uh his observer was trailing his dragoons there um supply wise best is now shooting up to 86 mine is 57 this observer sees everything but not exactly everything the second factory is coming up vultures is gonna try to go in but best has got everything covered it's got a reaver as well so this attack is completely failure i think um okay and that last vulture is gonna die he's gonna try to get on the high ground the the, uh, the probe might get harassed once more but no looks like that's gonna be he doesn't have to send all of his dragoons there or just a single dragoon will be fine uh but he's sending his entire dragoon fleet which is kind of ridiculous if you ask me uh third factory coming up uh, armory spinning for some kind of upgrades his observers is in a perfect spot to spot everything here um 
And at best, we need to be eyeing the, his potential fourth base, the base at the, what is that location, uh, the uh, 11, uh, sorry, the 2 o'clock position there. One good thing for best is that he's mining out the 4 o'clock base, and that base is usually the first to fall when Terran starts to push out. Uh, so the fact that he mines it out early means that it's going to have just potentially more minerals to work with in the mid and late games. Here, more turrets going up because uh, mine is thinking his enemy is probably going for shuttle with speed, which is also signature of Bass and of you know all good good Protoss players these days. Uh, Bass is keeping some dragoons at home. I'm not so sure what is the purpose. He can see everything uh, with his two observers perfectly placed. So why do you need to have uh, dragoons at home? That's something I don't understand. Uh, anyways, taking out a single SV, so that's that's good. Um, all right, looks like this uh, floating barracks is going to be giving some vision to mine. Mine's got two Goliaths, so he's going to slowly edge forward, but these two rivers going to buy a lot of time. A single observer sees everything. It's going to be very difficult for mine to kind of snipe that uh, observer. So he needs to pull the observer back, I think, because, yeah, uh, mine knows his enemy's got an observer there, and now Best got completely no vision of that area. He's going to try to hold out on this other side of the ridge. Dragoon's coming out. Maybe that was a bad rally or something like that. Best need to put up another cannon in his uh, other base, his natural, because remember that game versus action without a cannon, lurkers was just taking out something like 37 probes uh, in his natural, so that's something that best definitely doesn't want to repeat for this game, tanks inching out forward, once again, the tank have plus one weapons, the reaver is not paying attention, one reaver is going to get hit, best is going to try to pick up the reavers, he's able to get a single hit off of a tank, so that's, that's good, and shuttle with speed has just kicked in, now it's going to be a good, good time for Best to go for a second shadow, and indeed he does. He's going to be clearing out this base to go for potential fourth nexus. So that's us. Just a single marine is blocking that area, and that marine has taken out, uh, manning out that um, that mineral patch is a good, good idea. A lot of vultures coming out. Let's see if uh, Best is going to be able to uh, intercept the vultures before the vulture intercept the probe here. Uh, looks like we're going to be having a triple shuttle play from Best. That's going to be a nice, nice timing. He needs to take another base before he starts the attack, though. Looks like tanks are attack, uh, sieging on the low ground. The Reavers got the high ground advantage. More Dragoons coming out to clear these mines and, you know, rejoining with the rest of his forces here. And to what is Best waiting for? A lot of Zealots going to get attacked by these Vulture, but Zealot had speed, though, so they are quite, quite strong. They can try to get a surround on the Vulture, I think. Uh, but, okay, some Dragoons are coming back to help, so now the, uh, the Vulture's got no business being here. Uh, yeah, so that's, 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 that's a good idea. This, 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 uh, just, just, just a single shuttle, once again, is delaying the timing of Mine's third command center so, so long. And look at the supply differences. Best is 163, Mine's got 118, but, uh, don't, don't make any mistakes. This supply difference is purely due to the Zalot. And one fell attack from Best is going to be vanishing like 40 supplies and just a blink of an eye here. So, oh my god, bro, Vulture is coming in to harass him. Just the wrong, wrong time here. Probe's getting pulled. And Best is going to be losing too much. He's going to slide to attack and it's going to be a mistake to attack. Don't attack. Don't attack, man. Hold your forces. Hold your, uh, hold your horses. And indeed, he does hold his horses. Uh, uh, yeah, no, because the command center from mine has not been lifted. So there's no need to attack anything and from getting each other. What is he doing? Best is gonna be losing so many units, but at least the number of vultures is down to just three. Uh, so that's something good. And Best is pulling back with the rest of his forces. Uh, we have uh, the first uh, dropship of the game in play, in play, ladies and gentlemen. So we might have some crazy vulture drop to, towards the four o'clock uh, or towards the two o'clock. Let's see. The observer is able to see. I think the tank is gonna get elevated first. I'm not sure what is the destination of the dropship. Potentially the 11 o'clock base, I think. Uh, my, oh my god, Zealot getting shredded to pieces by these Vulture play, and Best has been losing so much supply. And this is how the supply difference is kind of withered a little bit. Now Best has only got about 30 supply difference compared to his enemy. This dropship's got a lot of potential to do damage because there's no, there's no cannon in the expansion. And yeah, tanks gonna be shutting this new building. We have a single cannon in the area, but no props are getting saturated. So this dropship, where's it going? It's gonna go towards the natural, and Best sees it. He sees the dropship coming down. He's got, he, that's why he's pulling, but all of his forces are gonna be waiting. Uh, and we're gonna be ha having tanks on the high ground. The probe needs to get pulled, and they are getting pulled, but the tank focus fire is really, really good. Probe we need to get pulled once again towards the main base. Zelot need to walk through to draw the, the firepower of the units, and the tanks gonna come out once again. Uh, so I guess these units are kind of clear out and Best has got high Templars in a shadow. This command center is not yet landed because it's just a single pair of Reavers is buying so much time and mine is inflicting a lot of damage but he's not able to take another command center so that's definitely not a good good idea. Uh, 
And now we're gonna be seeing, uh, well, just tanks coming out. So these Reavers got no place to retreat. They might run and hide behind the uh, the, the temples here. We've got some temples and the tanks on each uh, the Reavers are not taking a shot. Looks like Best not paying attention. He's gonna be losing, losing all of his units, but the shuttle escaped though. It's got a lot of life left. It's still alive. Uh, and so if that shuttle loses its life, then all of the Reavers will die. Where's the shuttle? The shadow needs to get picked up. Looks like Best not paying attention. He needs to pick up the freaking shadow and hide in the corner. He's gonna try to hide one more, one more hit in the corner. He's buying a lot of time. And he's gonna try to try to. Okay, that's a nice, nice D matrix at the last minute. And the shadow is definitely dead now. So the game kind of even out for both of the places. Best is nearly maxed out. He's on four bases. Mine is on three bases. And the game is gonna go on. Best need to get those mineral patches mined out, man, because that's gonna hurt him later. He cannot if he cannot evacuate his probe back to his to his natural. He's gonna he need to do that, I think. The second robot's coming up. Uh, Best gonna secure this area here just to make sure that Mike cannot easily take a third, uh, a fourth, excuse me. Uh, and yeah, looks like he might be coming out to take another base at the ten o'clock position as well, sending a probe and two dragoons there, escorting that probe. Uh, Best is having good, good grasp of this game, but mine don't don't make any mistakes. Mine can survive with 20 different uh, of uh, supply deficit, guys, because he scale better with his upgrades, guys. So that's what uh, uh, high tempers need to be used uh, in the late in the in the late game situation. Here looks like uh, Best is near max up. He's about 193 supply. He's not gonna penetrate these Terran forces just yet. He's just gonna be waiting on the outer skirts. Just make sure that all corners are you know all areas of the map are covered. Vulture uh, attack and we have quadruple shadow coming in. What does Best have inside? A lot of Zella need to pull back the rest of his uh, uh, shadows back and pick up more dragoons. This is a nice nice strategy. If he can take out all of the turrets and it's gonna be able to just land all of his dragoons safely here, all of the turrets are destroyed and those high temples are gonna buy a lot of time. Some tanks are in the area though. Uh, he's gonna just transfer every freaking goddamn unit. What is gonna be the decision by mine? He's not deciding what to do just yet. High temples are not casting us. So what are you doing? One storm is okay, the other storm is not, not so good though. Uh, or, or rather, the other high temples will destroy in the area, but now we have so many tanks in the area and Bess is gonna try to clear out some of the other tanks, but maybe it's gonna be time to just. We go home, I don't know. Okay, we have another high temper still in the corner, and he's gonna try to take out the last of the turret just to make forces enemy to rebuild the turrets. This high temper's got no energy, the chance are coming, have to come all the way back, and this is buying so much time, and this is allowing best to take another base at the 12 o'clock position. The science facilities destroy as well as the starboard. That means no science facility for the time being. Nice, nice storm on the last tank there, uh, and buying so, so much time, and that starboard is completely destroyed now, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, that sets mine back like a 20th. 20th century here because now it's gonna have to rebuild both of those critical structures it's got only a single science vessel I think in the entire game during these times though uh, Mine's gonna you know build up his supply a little bit more and that's that's good for him But best can just rebuild his supply we have two times in the area and we have not uh, Just a single cannon. It's not able to do anything and task will be sitting but quadruple shuttle comes out and these probes and we get destroyed very very lucky for uh, Best though the tank doesn't focus the attention on the probe it focuses the attention on the Cannon. Okay, now it focuses attention on the probes, so some probes are dying, but yeah, uh, okay, the last of the tank has fallen, and uh, what we have here, more vultures landing more stuff towards this other base, and during this time, mine is allowed to saturate his new base, though, so that was a nice, nice idea for mine. Uh, while he was being harassed in his main, he was able to land his next base. Some zealot walking through just to clear the mine here. So that's as good. And now the rest of the zealot comes through the tanks into reinforcement behind. We have need to get some crazy ass storms from the back. These these remotes are finally clear. But let's look. Take a look at mine space. It looked like a freaking Saharan desert here with completely nothing. And mine are very supplies. Mine is a supply block because he lost so many freaking goddamn supply depot during that attack. And zealot bombing all over the mines here. So many tanks gonna be falling, but very lucky. For mine though, he didn't lose as many times as he should have uh, during this last attack. And now Zelov, we need to walk over, but now it looks like uh, best chicken out in the last minute. And he pulls back. And the game is gonna reset once again. Mine with four bases, best with five bases. Mine's about 30 supply differences in. But this kind of favors Tarrant because if they can go ahead and take another base, for example, the top left corner, it's gonna be just fine. But is best, you know, if I was best now, I would just completely turn around with my four sh shadows and go for the drop once again inside uh, mine space. It's like best, I'm not gonna do that. He's gonna try to attack his base once again. I don't think that's gonna be a good idea because even if uh, uh, mine is able to take out the base at the two o'clock position, it's completely useless. That is completely mined out. But so many zealot bombing everywhere. There are no high tempers of Goliaths are focused attention on the on the shuttle, which is definitely not a good idea here. Zealots are going all over the goddamn place. 
and Tanks getting splash damage, but now the rest of the forward Tanks have been taken out, and we have one High Templar, two High Templar coming from behind, let's get some crazy ass storms, but he's not attacking, just as he needs to go for the storm attack now, looks like the Tanks got already in place, so those High Templars are completely useless, and Vulture might try to come out to take out those High Templars, uh, looks like Mines decided enough is enough, he's gonna try to push out and take out the base at 12 rock, but I don't think it's gonna be a good idea, because Best got so, so short of a distance to enforce here, Tanks coming out on this high ground, and Best completely sees everything, he's got Probe, he seems to be, he's got Zelot inside the shadow, so it's gonna be just fine, he's gonna start to land some stuff here, Zelot landing everywhere, uh, the last of the tanks have been destroyed though, uh, but tanks sieging in the, you know, in the face of Dragoon's fire, as well as Zelot bombing, is definitely not a good idea, that last uh, Dragoon's is, is got destroyed, so that's not, not, a, not a good sign, but I think Best will have no problem to clear out those attacks, need to see micro a little bit faster though, Roach is waiting to go in, but there's a lot of cannons in the area, so mines will need, need to take a lot of time to clear out those cannons, and finally the shadow arrives, as well as the Zelot, He's gonna have some crazy mind drags, maybe. No, we don't see the crazy mind drags just yet. We need to see some high temper storm as well. This high zealot alone is not good enough, uh, but uh, maybe that's just to wait to be zealot for mind to do anything about it. And yeah, the game is such so so, so even, but I'm gonna give the advantage, I think, to mind those, ladies and gentlemen. We might have another uh, command center going up at the 10 o'clock position. Looks like mine's got very, very nice uh, defenses everywhere, plus three weapons and plus one armor on the tanks here. The vulture is gonna try to look for some ED target, but there aren't any. Dragoon's still coming out from best. Best with 157 supply mine with only 140. But I would still tell best to go for another crazy, crazy drop in mine's mind, in mine's main base. Looks like tiny tanks are finally coming out and we're gonna be having the turn of the tides here. Best got so few forces, gonna evacuate the rest of his forces on the southern side. He's gonna be coming out to clear because these forces were completely useless in this area. These probes are gonna have to get transferred though, and they do get transferred. The good thing for mine though, for best, excuse me, that in this area there are no presence of turrets or goliaths, so he can just drop all over the freaking units, I think. But now, where's he attacking? He's not attacking the, in the right place, he's coming, but he's not, he not decided where to go exactly. And finally, the shadow is gonna land some zealot. That's some, some good idea, but High Templar, we need to storm something. They're not storming, they're storming the... Well, Science Vest is a good idea, but so many times in the back, we need to storm the tanks all the way in the back, and he doesn't, and so many Protoss forces are melting, and the tanks are still alive. Oh my god, that was a very poor attack by Bess, I think. He could have done a lot better, but now mine's got about 30 supply advantage compared to Bess, and I think if this, uh, this, if this base falls, excuse me, then there's gonna be no way for Best to come back. He still have a lot of good mineral intake though in his natural and his two o'clock position. But it's not the game is definitely not yet over, but it's gonna be very difficult for Best to come back. He needs to be able to clear out those weak tanks. Those tanks are so so weak from before. Some nice zealot bombing would be very very good though. Or I wouldn't be surprised. You know, a single dark temple would also be very 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 useful during these times uh, because the, the the single science vessel of the game has been destroyed. I don't know if uh, mine has even rebuilt his uh, starport. Uh, his uh, you know his uh, what are those things called? Uh, starport uh, and science facility just yet. I'm not so sure. The middle base is still not yet taken out of this. Mine's got about 30 supply difference. He's got a very, very solid defensive structures in the southern side of the map, and now he's gonna be ready to do another major push towards the bottom right. This is what best wants, so because that base is mined out, he wouldn't be, uh, you know, so so unhappy losing that base. But he would be very, very unhappy to lose the base at the two o'clock position as well as his natural. So this is what uh, mine is doing. He's gonna try to starve out his opponent by just taking the middle base. So that's the best. Is need to come back and he. He's got so few units though, I can't understand how few units he could possibly have. Um, I guess just the power of Terran tanks is just way, way, way too good. And yeah, it looks like these uh, single observers are gonna get destroyed. Best is gonna try to save one of his observers at least, uh, and command center will get floated. Yeah, I think it's gonna be very, very difficult to best to uh, assault this fortified position there by mine. Mine is setting up a lot of times, protected with Goliaths and turrets. His command center is gonna be floating over. Looks like Mess is amassing a lot of troops also on the other side. Looks like Bosch is coming in to harass. HD is gonna get smashed here. One, two, two HD snipe and not losing a single vulture. Mine's excellent this game so far, which is his vulture play. Um, and now tanks have secured their mid-ground position here. Uh, that tank needs to move out of the way though to make way for that command center. Best 168 supply, mine 177 supply, but I'm gonna put my money onto mine now. It's gonna be very difficult for best to assault. Looks like some of the drones are coming towards the left side to try to go for a flank. I think that's gonna be a mistake because there's so many turrets and mines here, as well as tanks protecting this area, but now it's gonna be pulling back. A nice scan by mine, just to see exactly where best positions are so that he can just plan his defenses correctly. Looks like 
Best has got another full round of troops coming out of his gateway though. He's divided the army into three different areas coming in from all sides. Trooper Shadow dropping a lot of Zealot and High Templar nice strong on the tank as well as some SCVs. Another nice ones on the Vultures though. Some of the Zealot on the other side is not going to be attacking a High Templar comes in. Let's see if Mines will snipe it with one of his Vultures. A lot of tanks coming from behind though. So this timeline is so so deep and High Templar getting sniped by the Vulture once again. And uh, Mine is living to fight another Zealot walking aimlessly in the area. It looks like Best is retreat. After that battle was over, he's completely got smashed there. Mine 120 supply, Best with a 96 supply, and Mine has resumed mining here in this base. And Best got no minerals remaining whatsoever. He's got completely mined down in the main. At the 4 o'clock position, he's got only a single mineral patch remaining. He's two at the base, he's probably very, very dry too. It looks like Best is trying to come in once again. Zellot walking in, doing a lot of splash damage, which is good. Taking out one tank, the Rubidis is spread out though. High Temple is not guessing at that storm with quite, 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 quite really pathetic storms there. And Best once again is repelled. He is running dry, ladies and gentlemen. It looks like, look at the number of white dots coming out of his base. It's very few. Best 80, uh, 80 uh, minerals remaining. Mine with 190 minerals. And mine's got about 20 supply difference here. And the game is going to be coming to a close here. The first epic uh, encounter, the first epic clash between two players. Two players. Mine can remove some of the tanks from the southern side if he wishes to. Oh. This is going to maybe just try one final attack. He's amassing a couple of high templars, three to be precise. He's dropping of Zelot to buy some time and that was I guess good but yeah look at this he's got just a single control group of units whereas mine's got like 25,000 tanks he's gonna pick up a couple of items he's gonna try to do one last ditch attack here uh, amassing a lot of forces the vultures for mine we need to go out for some HT hunting as before he's gonna maybe try to do that now but best gonna come in from all side the angle is really thin for him a lot of mines are in the area what is best doing he's moving some of the forward and not really attacking the right place and HT is gonna be casting a single Storm, nice team matrix, another nice storms on some of the tanks, but that's gonna be the end. And look at the puny forces from best. Very few forces remaining. He's gonna go cast a couple of storms and buy some time, clean out some tanks, but that's it. GG from best. Mine takes the first game convincingly. Thanks for watching. Let's move on to the second game. See you soon. Bye bye.